Hello everybody. So for this week's training video we're going to go over the stove pipe. Now last week we did the, the failure to feed drill which a quick tap rack bang cleared that up and you're going to see how important it is to practice that tap rack bang with this video. Now what is the stove pipe? Stove pipe is when your shell casing does not eject completely and this is usually caused by either a light load or limp wristing. Either way it's when the slide does not get to do its full cycle and let the shell leave completely. Now what does a stove pipe look like? Well, here I have an empty shell casing and an empty gun and a stove pipe. Oops. Stove pipe. <laughs> looks like that. Looks like where the uh, looks like a stove pipe really if you if you think about it. So, how do you clear that thing out? Well, there's a couple, there, there's a couple options, and uh, I'll show you both of them, but there's one I definitely use more than the other. So the first way I'm going to show you is not the way that I normally train people to do it, and I'll uh, explain why. But it goes something like this. You're firing, you're firing, and then nothing. You see the, uh, you see the stovepipe, you see the brass up top of your gun. So one of the ways to clear this up is to simply take your hand up and over it and swipe it out like that. And then you can go right back to firing. Now why don't I like that? Because not every time you get a stove pipe does it chamber a new round. Uh, it is, it, it, the slide is not working its full motion enough to eject a case. So it is reasonable to assume that it did not do enough to chamber a new round either. So this is how I do it. So I have my stovepipe, as you can see here, I have my stovepipe, bang, 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 nothing. Stovepipe, you can see it, so you've already diagnosed it, although you don't really need to, and this is why. Bang, 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 you see the stovepipe, tap, rack, bang. Now another reason why I don't like the knife edge of the hand, just swoosh it away like that, is for this reason. A stovepipe is not always like that. That is not always a stovepipe. Sometimes a stovepipe will look like this. or a variation of, but it'll be, it'll be with the slide. You can't knife edge it out of there. So again, in this case, and it looks like an out of battery, which we'll get to next week. So in this case, you're bang, bang, bang. Again, nothing, mushy trigger, dead trigger. Bang, 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 dead trigger, tap, rack. And there you go. So again, we have our stovepipe. Bang, 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 you're shooting, you're shooting. You have the click, the dead trigger. So what do you do? Tap, rack, bang. This also shows you the importance of when you do your tap rack bang to tuck your elbow in, ejection port facing down, tap, rack. It helps clear that malfunction out of there. So again, there's your stovepipe malfunction. Last week was failure to feed. Next week we're going to do out of battery. I hope you were practicing your tap rack bang muscle memory uh, drills either at home or out on the range because they're going to come in really useful in videos to come and in your shooting life to come. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week.